Welcome back to another lesson and we're going to divide some more decimals today and it's going to be very similar to the last lesson except that I'm going to show you another method on how to divide and I'm also going to show you how to deal with remainders. So just to start us off, let's pretend you and two friends have $10. You want to share the money. How much will each person get? So. I'll get you to try this on your own, just, to, just as a start. A group of hikers on a four-day trip traveled 96.575, or 96 and 575 thousandths of a kilometer on the Trans-Canada Trail. On average, how far did the group travel each day? So remember, average is when you take the full amount and divide by how many of something. In this case, how many days you need to divide by four. Um, as a second question, to pay for the trip, each group of three hikers had to raise at least $125.50. How much did each hiker have to raise individually? So there's two questions there. I'll get you to try that out on your own before moving on. Okay, so let's say, going with our hiking theme, four hikers want to share a nine and 4,500 hundredths of a liter jug of water equally. How much water will each hiker get? Well, we're gonna have to divide that 9.45 divide by four. And we will wanna look at three methods today. I'm gonna to show you long division, we know that one. We're gonna look at short division, that's new to us, and repeated subtraction is also gonna work. But all in all, I want you to decide what works best for you. Okay, so we're going to try 9.45 divided by 4, and i got three different zones here. I'm going to show you the three different methods, and let's start with long division. So first, we're going to make uh, 9.45 into a whole number, and we'll add that decimal later. So 4 goes into 9 exactly uh, two times before going over, and I'm going to uh, subtract that 8, and I get a 1. Well, 4 can't go into 1, so I'll bring down this 4. 4 can go into 14 three times before it goes over, so I'm going to get a 12. 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to subtract that. I get a 2. 4 cannot go into 2, but it can go into uh, 25. And 4 goes into 25. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. And here's our problem. I am left with a remainder 1. Now, if you ever come to the situation, we can keep going because there's actually a zero we can put here and we can bring that down. And so if I put that zero there, uh, four can go on to 10 um, twice, and I get an eight, and that is a two. And again, I have that remainder. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put another zero there, bring that down. Four goes into 20 five times, so I have somehow 23,625. Okay, we'll play the de place the decimal point later. Okay, we'll do repeated subtraction over here. I'm gonna put my whole number. And repeated subtraction, because we might have a remainder, is gonna act a little bit differently this time. So let's find some numbers that work first. So 200 will work. That becomes 800, I got 145. Well, what if I chose, uh, how about 25? 25 times four is 100. Subtract, I have 45. Well, I can do 10, and that is 40. It leaves me with five, do that one, and I'm left with a remainder one. Now, this is where we're gonna have a problem, and so I'm gonna take this line and divide it, and go a little bit further. So um, everything above this line we're going to add up. The other stuff we're going to tack on to the end as single digits. Okay, And so I can't go 4 into 10 so I'm going to add a 0 and I can do that 2 times. So that's an 8. That leaves me with a 2. And this time uh, I can't again go into 2 so I'm going to add that 0 and I can go in 5 times and that's a 20. Zero. So 
I'm going to add this up 225, 235, 236, and I said I'm going to add these other digits as single digits. That is the exact same answer that we had before. All right, let's do short division. Short division is like long division, but um, there's a bit more mental math involved, and it actually would help if you space out your digits a little bit. And you'll see in a sec here. Um, nine can go into, sorry, four can go into nine twice. Now I gotta think, well, that's eight. How many are left over? There's one left over. So we're gonna kind of carry the one, and so we're gonna go four into 14. Now four goes into 14 three times before going over. That's 12. That leaves me with two left over, so I'm gonna carry a two. And four goes into 25. Um, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6, 6 times is 24. Now 20, 25 minus 24 is a 1 left over. Now if you haven't figured out, we are going to add a 0 there. So 4 goes into 10, 4 goes into 10 twice before going over, and that leaves me the 2. And if you haven't figured out, again, we're again going to write a 0. 4 can go into 25 times. So again, we're left with the same number. Now. 9.45 divided by 4 is not 23,625. So we need to estimate to place the decimal point. The closest whole number benchmark to 9.45 is 9. So 9 divided by 4 is a little more than 2. So I know that the decimal place is going to go after the 2. So the answer is 2.3625 or 2 and 3,625 ten thousandths. This quotient is exact. Remember, quotient is the answer when we divide. It's the exact answer, okay? But here's the problem. When we have a quotient that is a measurement, we need to give it an answer in a form that makes sense. And since the volume of the water was given to us in the hundredth of liter, 9.45, and the five digits in the hundredths place, we're going to write the answer, the quotient, to the closest hundredth. So, 2.3625 is closer to 0.236 because the 2 in the thousands place right here is not above, is not 5 or above. Okay? So we are going to write the quotient as 2.36. So in our problem, each hiker got 2.36 liters of water. Now you notice I answered about. That is signaling to the person that's reading this that it's not exact, okay? So we, knew, we do know the exact. This is the exact. Because the answer was given to us in a hundredth of a liter to two digits, we're going to answer it the same way back. Now you can check your answers to make sure that you're close. And if you do 2.36 times 4, you get 9.44. And that was very close to our original dividend. So we know the answer is reasonable or makes sense. Okay, so one morning the hikers traveled 10.4 kilometers in three hours. On average, how far did the hikers travel in one hour? Okay, so we're gonna do 10.4 divided by three. And so I have the three zones again. Let's go over them. They all have to start with the whole number and we place the decimal back later, okay? So three cannot go into one, so three can go into 10 three times, which is nine. I'm going to subtract. I got one left over. Three cannot go into one, so I'll bring the 14 down. And three can go into 14 four times, which is a 12, which leaves us a two. Now, we could say 34 remainder two, but we're trying to find the exact answer. So as we did before, we have a zero, which we're gonna bring down. If I bring down that, that can go in six times, which gets us um, 18 leaves us a 2. And if I add another 0, 20. Wait a second. This seems familiar. There's going to be an everlasting pattern where this will go 6666 six, six, six forever. So we'll just leave it there. Okay. Uh, short division, 104 divided by 3. 3 cannot go into 1, so 3 can go into 10 3 times. I'm left with 1. 
Uh, if we can go into 14 four times, it leaves us with a two for, for two left over. Uh, I have that 20. Three can go into 20. We set six times. 20 minus 18 in our heads is two. And we see that pattern yet again. And repeated subtraction, so 104 divided by three. Three, let's say 25 is 75. It's 0, 10, 9, so 9, 29. Uh, 3 can go 3 times 6, 3 times 7, 3 times 8 is 24. Let's do that. We're left with the 5. Well, 3 can go into 5 one time. Actually, this is the 2. Now, here's where that remainder problem happens, so I'm going to extend my line there. And we have three cannot go into two, so we have zero. Three can go into uh, six times, which is 18. And you can see the pattern will continue. So here we have 25 plus eight is 33, plus one is 34, plus all those sixes that we're gonna add. So 10.4 divided by three is not 34,000 with infinity sixes. So we're gonna estimate to the decimal point. 10 is close to 9, which would be easy. 9 divided by 3 uh, is 3. So the answer is going to be about 3. And they gave us the question to the tenth of a kilometer, 10.4. So we're going to answer to that form. Now, we are going to consider the tenths place. Here's the tenths, but we look to the one next door. That is above a 5. So we're going to round that up to a 5. So the answer is about 3.5 kilometers an hour. Okay, you try it. Jenna's turtle traveled 1.72 meters in five minutes. How far did it travel in one minute? So choose whatever thing you like. You could try all three, try them all out. Uh, doesn't matter to me. I'll go over all three um, to find the answer. So 172 divided by five. Five cannot go into one. I'm going to 17 three times for 15. Subtract, we got a two. Five can't go into two, so let's bring down this two. Five can go into 22 four times for a 20. This is a two. Well, that's not gonna work, so we can add that zero. And five can go into 20 four times, okay? If we do the long, or sorry, the short division route, we said five can't go into one, five can go into 17, three times in our head. 17 minus 15 is two, carry that. Two, five into 22, four times. 22 minus 20 is another two, and I'll put a zero there. Five can go into 20, oops, four times, okay? And repeated subtraction method, 172 divided by five. Well, let's try and get as much in big chunks as we can. Five times 20 is 100. And we have 72 left over. Five can go into, I know five times 12 is 60. So I'm left with a 12. Five times two is 10. That leaves us with a two. So that's where our remainder would have been. Put the line across, okay? And so five cannot go into two, but it can go into 20 four times, which is zero. So remember we add 20 plus 12 is 32, 34, and I said we tack on that extra digit. 3.344. Now remember that it is around one, so we're kind of doing, um, it's gonna be less than a minute. So it's going to be 0 0.344 of a meter in a minute, okay? Now the answer, sorry, the question was given to us in two hundredths. That means we're going to answer in two hundredths. This is the hundredths place. We look to the right. Is it above five or five or above? No. So this is our final answer. All right, there you go. Three different methods of division and just using what we learned last lesson and applying it to remainder type, type questions. All right, take care, guys.